Hello everybody, McGregor here, and today I'm going to share with you five tips on how to build a stable drone. Uh, building drones in uh, Nimbatus is... It's hard and, <laughs> and easy at the same time. It's one of those things that where it's easy to build, but it's hard to master. So the first tip is connecting to directly to the drone core. It's always the strongest connection as then if uh, you branch out. So what I mean here is this block, as you can see, it's connected to the core. This one's connected to the core and this one's connected to the core. Whereas this one, these three are all attached together. This is attached together. This is attached together. So basically, if you can connect your block to the drone core, do it. It'll be the most um, structurally sound uh, drone there is. And if I spin this, you can see already that these, the red is the ones that aren't set up properly. The green ones are. And you can see that the red ones there are gaps forming in between and of course when you build bigger and bigger stuff it's going to be more and more noticeable the second tip is to weave your uh, blocks together so basically what I mean by that is kind of like a zigzag sort of pattern it um, it allows your blocks to um, be supported by um, its neighboring block whereas this one here it is not so if I start spinning here remember red is bad green is good you could already seeing it starting to separate right here well this it's keeping its shape more and yeah we want it to keep its shape Tip number three is what I like to call the keystone method, where uh, you have one block, which is basically the keystone, and it kind of branches out um, in every direction from one center block. So these guys are connected to this thing, and this one's connected to this thing. They could spread out longer like this, kind of like uh, that. But um, yeah, so so the idea is to tangle your uh, your um, your blocks around the keystones. As you can see here, we're kind of weaving through here, and we're weaving through here. I think I connected that to the wrong one. <laughs> and then this one, yeah, here here we're kind of weaving over here. Whereas this one here, it's just straight. So if I spin, you'll see this one starting to separate and this one is mostly holding its shape. So, and I tend to like to uh, use a different block for my keystone, which helps me determine what's my actual keystone and whichever connected to this keystone, um, it's normally fairly stable because it is touching so many connections and that's what you really want you want to uh, you want to be right beside uh, as many connections as you can you want you want this thing all tangled up tip number four is to use magnet blocks uh, set to attract any magnet blocks will actually uh, pull in um, blocks even your own blocks uh, towards the uh, magnet itself and it can increase the strength if you, you got to watch out though because if you use too much strength your um, your creation could buckle in all on itself but if if you set it to a weak strength a, a nice radius just something enough to cover just enough to cover everything will help and you do have to watch out for the power because that's that's how they use um, <laughs> that, that's how they run and as you can see here I'm using the keystone method with the magnets here as opposed to just the regular keystone method and if I do a test and we start spinning here you're gonna see that this is separating a little bit more than the other one so it's just just that little bit of extra strength for you. And the uh, fifth and final tip that I have for you guys is 
don't end on the edges, always double back. So what I mean by that is this weapon here and this weapon here, they're not at the end of the actual chain itself. You guys are what? You're this one here. Everything actually doubles back onto itself. So if I move this, as you can see, I have a block here. So what that prevents this from doing is uh, it prevents the weapons themselves from actually wobbling. And as you can see here, you are which one? You're this one here. They all double back onto... Yeah, this this here is the last block. So that that'll prevent your craft from from the end from <laughs> it prevents the ends from actually moving and shifting itself. Whereas here, once again, just to show you this one here, I'll spin this, and you can see it already starting to break apart. While this is little bit more solid and um, just so you know one thing to keep uh, in mind is that these magnet blocks will affect your missiles <laughs> so and also this just so you know this test is exaggerated because I've turned off air resistance if you have air resistance on everything keeps its shape for the most part now th these were like I said just my five tips um, if you do have more, please let me know. Uh, you don't have to use all of these. I normally use the uh, weaving method, keystone, and the doubling back, and of course the core. I don't normally use the electromagnets, but some people, you know what? If if your craft is having problems, uh, you know, give it a shot. Um, but if you have like something like this here, and you're like, oh, this is all nice, but I don't want to. Like, I've already built a nice craft and I don't want to um, have to <laughs> redo it all over type of thing. All you have to do, you could even do stuff a little bit lazily. Something like this is still better than uh, not doing, you know, like the full amount. So even this is much better than, you know, not doing it. So, as you can see, it is breaking apart, but it's still holding itself. If I slow it down to, with the air resistance, you don't even really notice it. So, so yeah. So those are my five tips. Remember though, this is all about having fun. Uh, if you built a creation that you are proud of, good for you. If it doesn't fall apart, then you know what? Who cares? <laughs> But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this uh, tutorial or how to, or, well, five tips <laughs> on uh, how to build a stable craft in Nevada. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more of my Nevada or any of my other Let's Plays. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.